Hi, I'm Julie Kurtzman. Thanks for joining us today. I'm joined by my dear friend and colleague, jazz pianist Pat Keaton on Vernon. And we're here to talk about the release of our new record, Candlelight, Love in the Time of Cholera. Pete, can you tell us a little bit about why we did this recording? Okay, we're socially distant here. Um, hi, thanks for, thanks for being here. Well, okay, so the record, Candlelight, Love in the Time of Cholera, kind of the two titles uh, tell the story of the record. The first is that we, Julie and I, found a bunch of cool music that we wanted to play together, um, including some music by the great cornetist Vic Spiderbeck, and one of those is called Candlelight. So that's where we got that part of the title. And then that sort of led into the whole notion of what we kind of think is important now in, in this world during COVID time and during what is, let's face it, not the most calm period in our human history. And it's, uh, it's a reference to that great book by uh, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Love in the Time of Cholera. Um, and so what we did was, you know, of course, Julie's a great uh, classical violinist and I play jazz piano. And so what we did was we tried to find stuff that would be sort of a nice crossing over point where we could both bring our strengths to bear uh, and to prove that uh, people from the ostensible other side of the aisle of music uh, can play together and, and, and find some real ground at which we can work together. Uh, and that's what we've done. Uh, the record, again, is called Candlelight, Love in the Time of Cholera, and you can pick it up Either you go to CD Baby, I think Amazon has it, uh, or you can go to my website, which is PeteMalinVerney.com, or to Julie's website, which is JulietKurtzman.com. Uh, uh, so we're going to start with a tune, actually, that I wrote um, under the influence of Astor Piazzolla, the great tango master, whom I heard uh, many years ago uh, in person, but whose recordings, of course, we all love. And that's sort of a, a, a nice sort of meeting place between uh, our two art forms, uh, that music. Anyway, this is something I wrote under the influence of him, and uh, for the sake of this recording, we have titled it Love in the Time of Cholera. We hope you enjoy it.
enjoyed that. That was Pete's composition, Love in the Time of Cholera. Next, we're going to play In the Dark by Big Spiderbeck. Uh, Big Spiderbeck is a really interesting character. Uh, he died so young in his 20s. He was a great cornet player. And uh, interestingly, was uh, in Paul Whiteman's orchestra, who, of course, um, they were the ones that gave premiere to uh, George Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. But anyway, Big Spiderbeck, known as a great cornet player, and he and Louis Armstrong were famous uh, mutual admirers. And of course, because of the way things were back in those days, they weren't able to inhabit the stage together. But there are stories of them getting together late at night uh, and playing together, which is has to be something for the angels to hear. Anyway, Bix, uh, brilliant cornetist, but he also had a really rich harmonic sense. And he wrote um, several, four that I know of for sure, solo piano pieces, of which uh, we, we've done all four on the recording. This one is in the dark. And you'll hear a uh, real, uh, A deep harmonic sense that if you listen to jazz piano you'll hear how he influenced what came next you'll hear a lot of that harmonic stuff that Bix did you'll hear it in Art Tatum you'll hear it in Teddy Wilson Hank Jones and so on and so forth and uh, it, you know the, the challenge is to uh, try to play that music in a way that he might have heard it but then also for Julie and I, we, we made uh, these pieces into uh, piano, uh, violin and piano duets. So um, it's been such a joy to uh, dig into this music together because I had played the pieces before, but I never really got deep into them, and this was a wonderful opportunity. So we're going to play in the dark for you, but first, just want to remind you that the record is called Candlelight, Love in the Time of Cholera. You can find it on CD Baby or Amazon, but also if you want a nice signed copy, get in touch with us through our sites, uh, PeteMalinVerney.com, JulietKurtzman.com. So here's In the Dark. We hope you like it. Thank you. 
Next, we're going to play an excerpt from our CD, a little bit of uh, Astor Piazzolla's Oblivion. And following, we'll play from... Well, this is a tune of mine. Uh, we're, we'll play it in person for you. Uh, and this is something called Pulcinella, which um, I don't know if you know, but he's the famous little character uh, from uh, puppet shows that you'll see in, in Italy. There's a beautiful spot up on a hill where every Sunday in Rome there's, uh, there are puppet shows, and Pulcinella is always the star, and he's got... And there's the Carabinero, and there's there's like a whole set uh, group of characters, and it's a lot of fun to go see. But anyway, I, I wrote it a few years back uh, for a collaboration, a dance collaboration that uh, was performed at uh, the Teatro Colosseo in Rome, um, Pulcinella. Uh, again, every for every note I write or play that has a tango inflection. I owe two of them to Astor Piazzolla. So we're gonna first play a little excerpt from our recording, as Julie said, um, of Oblivion by that great master. And then uh, we'll play here for you, uh, Puccinella, which we hope you enjoy. One more reminder, our recording is called Candlelight, Love in the Time of Cholera, and you can get it at our websites, or you can CD Baby. Okay, thanks. We hope you enjoy these two pieces.
We hope you enjoyed that. That was Oblivion by Astor Piazzolla and Pete's composition, Pulcinella. And we just wanted to let you know that right here on Facebook Live, December 10th, um, Pete and I have a performance that will be viewed um, that comes from the Performing Arts Center at Perkins College. Yeah, and uh, part of that will be an interview with Seth Soloway, um, the director of the Performing Arts Center at Purchase. So that'll be fun, and we, we look forward to bringing that to you. Uh, next, we're going to play, oh, we're going to play this tune uh, by Big Spider Beck. Now, this is a little different from the four pieces we talked about before, because this one is a little bit, it was more of a band composition, right? And there's, well, we have sort of squeezed in a little time for improvisation. The tune is called Davenport Blues. And of course, uh, those of you know, who know about Big Spiderbeck know he was born in Davenport, Iowa, on the banks of the great Mississippi River. Um, and by the way, Davenport is also the home of Twinkies, in case you're wondering. Um, but anyway, uh, Bix, uh, we, that's where he heard the music, right? He heard the music as the riverboats would stop there in Davenport. And I've been there myself. I used to work on a paddle wheel steamboat, the Mississippi Queen, and then the Delta Queen as well. And it's really kind of a magical thing there along the river. And you can imagine a young man with a horn uh, getting sort of wistful about what else there might be to life. And so he wrote this tune, Davenport Blues, and uh, Julie and I like to play it, and I take a little moment in between for um, a solo, a 12-bar blues solo. I play a couple choruses on it. Um, so anyways, we hope you enjoy Davenport Blues. Thank you. 
thanks again for joining us today. Uh, we're going to finish up with a beautiful tango by Carlos Gardel, uh, Por Uno Cabeza. Um, it was actually written for voice uh, originally, it was for violin and piano. I was uh, interested to see Carlos Gardel. There's a video that you can find online, which was the final um, filmed performance. He was a huge star um, and known as the father of the tango. And uh, as soon as uh, this video, the, this uh, thing that you can find online was done, he got on a plane, uh, which ended up crashing and uh, taking his life at way too young an age. But one thing I really like about this is that in the book, Love in the Time of Cholera, after which our recording is named uh, by the great Gabriel Garcia Marquez, there's a, there's a mention of Gardel. Two people are talking about the music of the day, and they find that while they have different musical tastes, they do agree on liking the music of Carlos Gardel. It's kind of an interesting little aside. So this is Por Una Cabeza, we hope you like it.
again for joining us. Uh, hope you'll tune in December 10th, uh, where we'll perform live from Purchase College uh, the Performing Arts Center. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, we've really enjoyed uh, spending a little time talking about our new recording, Candlelight, Love in the Time of Cholera, and we hope you've enjoyed this and perhaps it'll cause you to uh, get a little more interested in the music of Esther Piazzolla and Carlos Gardel and Big Spider Beck. And we also play a tune from Scott Joplin called Solace on the recording. Um, we're, we're real happy with it and proud of it and hope that uh, you will be perhaps inspired to pick up a copy, which you can do uh, either through our websites, PeteMalinBurney.com or JulietKurtzman.com, or um, you can go online and find it at CD Baby and I believe Amazon. Um, but really, it's been a great pleasure and we thank you and we'll look forward to seeing you on December 10th. So long. <laughs>